Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we successfully defeated Team Rocket, and it occurs to me that I'm still wearing the Team Rocket uniform. Um, let me change out of this. And, uh, let's see here. As usual, uh, a little privacy, please. Let's see, we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna go with that and also that and that and that all right all done Okay, so, let's see here. We need to head to Pokemon Tower to use the Silph Scope that we just got. But before we do that, I have a couple other things I want to do. First things first, though. Silph Scope, Silph Scope. Gonna be way down here. A scope that lets you see what cannot usually be seen. It is milled by Silph Co. Team Rocket was very uninterested in this thing. Giovanni just kind of casually handed it to us. First things first. Let's go this way. Because the last time I was out here, Trace came along and invited to warp me back to Cerulean City, and I took the offer because I was curious how that would work. So I didn't get to come here last time. So we open that, and this will allow us to get another fossil type deal. The secrets of space. The mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not throw in the towel. I agree. We have two fossils of rare, prehistoric Pokémon on exhibit. Have you considered reviving them? I bet that would be a neat attraction. You can't sneak in the back way! Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? I'm gonna say no. Amber is actually sap. That gooey stuff that oozes from trees. The ancient sap fossilized over time to become rock-hard amber. I wonder how rare amber is in reality. We know about it, but I've never actually seen it. Not in person. It's a piece of amber with a beautiful gold color. Like, is real amber this pretty? Probably. Probably really expensive, too. I wonder if anybody's tried reviving any DNA inside amber in real life. Or at the very least, trying to find any. Shh. Listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. My colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. Okie doke. Shh. Get the old amber checked. Okie doke. It might be a while though. And I'm probably never going to come back and tell you if I succeeded. Old Amber, a piece of amber that still contains the genetic material of an ancient Pokemon, is clear with a tawny reddish tint. You know, how does this guy know that there's DNA in here anyway? Is he just guessing? Okay, next up... Let's head down southward, because we never got to explore Route 2 proper. Yeah. 
Hi. Bye. Yellow ring already, huh? I mean, not already, but to begin with. A little surprise. Figured that you'd still be green. Were you... L l were level 5 Ratatouille's yellow rings before? Okay, so there's an item up here I saw. Three great balls, nice. And along with that... What's this way? I know there's at least one other item in this direction. Along with the building. CP stands for combat power. Whoa! Combat! People who can use secret techniques are so cool, aren't they? Can you use them? Oop, item right here. Leafstone. And a super potion. Kind of weak at this point. Really wish I had picked it up sooner. And is that it? I'm a little curious about something. Let's take you out of the Pokeball for a moment here. Nope. I heard that some Pokemon will notice items that other Pokemon won't. So I was curious if this was a situation where Hudson was not going to notice any berries in that tree. Alright, that's everything on Route 2, but along with that... It occurs to me that there is a house that I never actually went into back here in Viridian. Also, as long as we're here and collecting potions that are old... I'm pretty sure there's going to be one that respawned. Yep. What's here? Oh, the nicknames. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. You can change your Pokemon's nickname from the main menu. Just fear your party and choose a Pokemon with a name you want to change. Good advice. I like the fan up there, above the stove. Kinda sorta above the stove. My daddy loves Pokemon too. And let me guess, your name is Speary. Yep. Out of curiosity, I do notice a couple of photos down in the corner there. I didn't press it fast enough. Not that heavily detailed photos, but there is detail. And a bunch of berries here. And I think that's it. Oh, I know something else to do. Link seems to have thought of something funny and started giggling to himself. If only I could understand you. Maddie says that he likes the icons of these options here. And yeah, the different icons are kind of nice. Okay, Pallet Town. Now it is actually not too out of the way to ask Professor Oak about my progress in the Pokédex. Good 
Good to see you. And how is your Pokedex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The current progress on your Pokedex is... 92 Pokemon seen and 47 Pokemon caught. And Professor Oak's judgment is... I find it interesting that you are speaking in the third person here. That line made a lot more sense whenever we were reading text on a PC. Your Pokedex is coming along quite well. I gave an assistant a Pokeball set for you. He's waiting at the gate on Route 16, so be sure to get it from him. Route 16... A Pokeball set? Oh, we can't go there yet. Although there's not usually anybody here. Not from Professor Oak, anyway. So whatever happened to the third Pokemon you have sitting here? I'm kind of curious about that. Let's see here. Obviously, you can't use Sky Dash in here, but I want to see what happens if we try. Seems that can't be used here. I definitely like, by the way, that our playing with Eevee is positioned in real time. Kind of, sort of. We're not actually facing where I think we should be facing, but we are in this actual spot. Maddie says, Pokeball set. You know, if I had to guess, a set of the apricorn balls, as they're always hard to get. Uh, given how they're trying to stay tried and true to Generation 1, I doubt apricorn balls are going to be in this game. Okay, something else I want to try. Head back here. First things first, you. Just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Wow, you've caught 138 Pokemon. You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Yes. Okay, please take good care of Squirtle. Slightly smaller than average. How is Squirtle doing? I don't know. Okay, out of curiosity. Play with Link. I swear this one time it said play with Zor. As in one of the other Pokemon. Uh, the other thing was... Back to the Pokemon fan club after Eevee is super happy. Is Eevee... Is Link super happy right now? Hello there, Erica. I hope you're getting along with your partner. Come back and see me once you're best friends with Link. Oh, ho! You're Link. I can see it's just best friends with you. This... This is the ultimate bond between a Pokemon and a trainer. Thank you for showing me such an amazing thing. Take this as thanks. <gasps> oh, I'm not going to get excited. It's just going to be reskins. But wow, well, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of sets. You put all of them in your, in your clothing trunk. I can't let me and my Pokemon fall behind now, can I? Ho ho ho. Alright, I was going to be going back to the funeral place dressed like this, but no, we got to try these out. 
Hopefully they are not just for Evie. Not the town map. Clothing trunk. I start with Link. We'll go with Vaporeon. Yeah, it's not looking promising. Not glasses. Vaporeon T. Hello there, Beer Force! Thank you for the resub! That is awesome of you! We'll go with the matching blue bow here. Once again, going with the tail. And, uh, switching to me. No peeking. Alright, all good. You know, at the very least, they could have put a Vaporeon face on this. If anybody came along and looked at this outfit, they wouldn't know this is a Vaporeon outfit just by looking at it. It's just blue. I'm at least glad that there are different outfits, but I could have. I, I kind of wish they had gone a little more adventurous with them. Link is watching the clouds go by. You are such a happy Pokemon. Seriously. I have the most adorable Eevee ever. Now, we got some business to take care of. Let's head back to Lavender Town and do the thing. Including get some Pokemon, come to think of it. Yeah, this will allow us to get some Pokemon now. Oh, Trace is back. So that's Cubone's mom? That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for his mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it. And I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too. The one who's been missing. Thanks for reminding us that Mr. Fuji is missing. Thank you. And be careful. I really don't like ghosts. But I've got to do this. Hey, worst case scenario, they'll just kick you back to the first floor. Oh. Ah. Erica. Nice timing. Sure. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Yes. Thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? Sure. Lead the way, you say. Ready when you are. I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. I've got your back. Now, let's see if anything special happens with this self scope. Ugh. Do you really think there are ghosts in here? I mean, you've seen them! Huh? Erica, what's that? The self scope revealed the ghost's true form. Okay, 
Props for actually animating me holding it. Whoa! Exactly! That's crazy! So those ghosts were actually Pokémon? Well, I mean, yeah, but, um, does using this make it so that everybody can see them? Th those are some fancy pants goggles, and I tell you what. Also, Haunters are huge! Ghost type Pokemon aren't actually that scary, so keep going. Okie doke. I would assume that you would not be able to fight along with me against these channelers who I have already fought. Um, I am going to be able to catch these things, right? Okay, I was about to say... Alright, a tiny gasling. Tiny, the game says. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're doing this again? Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Sit, st sit still. Okay, I need to remember how to throw at an angle. Okay, I did not expect that to work. Ghastly, the gas Pokemon, said to appear in decrepit, deserted buildings, and also Pokemon Tower. It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of gas. I never really understood this. It is clearly a sphere. I mean, sure, I could probably stick my hand through it, but it has a clear, visible shape. Oh, you know what? I should just find out what other Pokemon are here. Afterward, I get to the top floor. Because I expect the top floor to have a different set of Pokemon. That purifying space has quite a large hitbox, by the way. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Pokemon Tower. Defense? Don't add words, Google. Let's see here. Pokemon Tower has Zubat, Golbat, Gasoline, Hunter, and Cubone on the third and fourth floor. And on the 5th and 6th floor, it has Zubat, Golbat, Gaslight Haunter, and Cubone. And also a rare Chansey. Which I already have, so I don't necessarily need to go looking for Chansey. Cubone, of course, I am more interested in. So what is the difference between these sets besides what's available? Okay, Haunter is slightly more common up on these higher floors. That's what's going on with that. Maddie says I missed an item on the purifying floor. Oh. Respawning items. Behind the graves up top. Oh, that's the item you saw. Why well, they do a good job hiding these things. You gotta love treasure hunting in, uh, in video games. Regardless of whether they're treasure chests or Pokeballs. Effectively the same thing. Alright, so there's a 10% chance of a cube bone spawning on this floor.
I think this was the floor where things happened. Yeah, that is definitely the space right to the left there where the ghost appeared. Ah, there's some more spawn rate. Yeah, that's, it's about time things started showing up. Wait, why am I looking for a cube bone? We've already found cube bone. They were in rock tunnel. So we can just do this. Be gone. Be gone, intruders. Gah! This one's even bigger than the last one. Erica, use the thing. The thing you used last time. true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Erica, I... I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm gonna go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? I've got this. Are you not scared at all, Erica? Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Dean Rocket? When didn't you go and get that strong? Right. Well then, guess I'll leave this up to you, Erica. Come on, Cubone. That was definitely kind of sad. Oh wow, they even added a song for that. Tempting. Very tempting. But I am going to evolve a gasoline at some point. I will say, the very beginning of that cutscene, I wish my character here wasn't just blankly smiling. Nice to see some occasional expression on my face, but... Eh, it needs to be, happen a little more often. Otherwise, yeah, that scene was really good. Okay, double checking here. I've got lit up front. I'm gonna wanna save.
Stop right there! We'll be going first. With that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. It is interesting how they're changing things around here. The four Team Rocket was already waiting. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. So I can just leave him, huh? Alright, bye. I'm sure you can handle yourself. Speaking of cute bones. Uh, I should probably do something. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, twerp, or be prepared to fight. You know, I beat you once before, twice before, in fact, and the last time was, oh, I don't know, an hour ago. So I don't know why you think you're going to be able to win this fight, too. Alright. We're having a f battle of Red and Blue versus Team Rocket. How appropriate. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is smokescreen against that freaking wheezing. Because I don't feel like being poisoned. Along with that... Headbutt for flinch chance. The wheezing is my bigger concern here. I'm also going to want to use some items. Oh dear. Uh, this team might be a little tougher than I... Uh-oh. Who are you attacking? Oh gosh dang it. This might not actually go as well as I was hoping. I was really hoping I'd give these two another chance to fight, but I might have to reconsider here. Yeah, um... Casey... And... Belladonna. At least this way we don't have to worry about these poison attacks so much. Maddie says, yeah, the level difference is starting to show a bit. Hudson and Lit could probably handle other Pokémon, but these two are probably unsuitable. Dealing with poison status afflictions and that sort of thing. Besides that, I am fighting two on two here. Okay. Confuse Ray. And I feel like the Arbok would have the stronger attacks on hand. Also, that's going to be a thing. Dark Pulse. I was wondering what other attack you might have. Okay, switch things around. Of 
critical hit. That was painful, but good to know it was only a critical hit. Now what are you going to try to do? Nothing. You hit yourself in confusion. Cool, cool. Now do I want Casey to... Hmm... Do that, and also, I know Dark Pulse is going to continue to be a thing, so let's defend against that. Beer Force says, I think the game expects you to catch duplicates of Pokemon you already have. It's if it's anything like Pokemon Go, where you trade in duplicates for candy to power up your mons. Yeah, that is definitely what the game is expecting. Which is why I'm not doing that. I'm giving myself a little bit more of a challenge here. Because so far, I'm still able to do some winning. Alright, I'm possibly... Actually, no. I probably should have been focusing on the r box so I can get out of the paralysis locking... Although a flinch chance happens here. Nope. Which I am okay with in this case. Actually, here's a plan. First, let's go ahead and cause some extra damage against the Arbok. It is definitely a little bit weaker. Of course they both snapped out of confusion. Alright, in that case... You're a threat. And, uh, let's go ahead and do some more of this. I'll have to remember to buy some more. Hopefully Casey can survive the next couple of attacks. More importantly, hopefully Casey doesn't get attacked twice. It's not looking good, I can tell you that. Well, that was unexpected. Bubba. I need to get some more lemonade, too. Uh, they're paralyzed, so no sleeping. Who to go for first? Well, our box closer to being taken out, so... Not to mention, I do want to get out of this paralysis situation. Because, my gosh, that is annoying. And at least Weezing was paralyzed. I'm going to use this a little bit early here, but I want to ensure that Bubba is, in fact, able to get in the Leech Seed against the Weezing.
Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh really? Pinky. Finish off that, uh... Oh, gosh. No, don't go after Golbat. I'm surprised that is an option. Go after the Arbok. This will ensure the Arbok can be taken down now. Finally got confused right back in there. And we know we're about to take care of the Arbok, so get rid of the re less of that paralysis. Actually, in hindsight, I should have boofed, boosted Pinky's special defense. So hopefully Pinky don't get one shot. Level up possibly helps. Hit yourself? Darn. Oh good, went after Casey. Well in that case... Hopefully we'll have this. Yeah, we got this. And down. What do you want? You'll regret this. Ugh. Seriously? Again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnap Fuji is a bust then. I will at the very least give you props for the Operation name. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco in Saffron City. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. Link is so not amused by Team Rocket. <laughs> ah, I love this. I also really like this. This is a nice setup here. It looks way better than just a plain, ordinary end of a hallway as it was in the original games. And also, I don't think it was improved any for the Game Boy Advance remakes either. So this is nice. Oh? And who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. How? I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. I wonder if Trace will be waiting for us. 
Nope. Maddie says it's implied he was in something of a trance. Oh. So, Erica, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Oh, I'm dedicated. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. The Poking Flute. Upon hearing the Poking Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. I am assuming it can still be used inside battle. Hudson poked at your legs. I am suddenly wondering what the hand paw of a war turtle feels like. Has my Poké Flute helped you? I haven't even left your house yet. Seriously, it is so dumb how all these characters are like, here's a thing, and two seconds later, how's the thing? It's like they are so excited to have given me this thing and they want to hear about all my uses of it. It's like, hurry up and use it already! But you know what? Fine. I'll, let, let me go ahead and take a look at it and see if I can play it right now. No, I can only move it. Poké Flute. A flute that can play with such a beautiful tone that even sleeping Pokémon find themselves woken up. Somebody else told me earlier in the game that only Pokémon can hear the sound that it makes. Keep that in mind. Ah, it's so warm. Pokémon are so cuddly and nice to hug. I know, I want to do that. Mr. Fuji went to try to bring some peace to the Marowak. I guess Trace went and ran off. Anything new to say? You rescued that coupon from Team Rocket? Wow, that's pretty amazing. Take these as a thank you. Oh, thank you! I bet someone brave like you could go up the Pokemon Tower no problem. Way ahead of you. says maybe up towards rock tunnel if he was taking the cubone home that's a good point where is the cubone's home i assume to f with mr fuji Yeah, sure, let's light it up real quick. No? I'm not sure we'll actually get to l find out. Maybe it shall remain one of life's mysteries. Where? Take the cue bone. Still worth looking around. Not here. Not here. Oh, well, your guess is as good as mine. I wonder if Bulbapedia will answer this. Uh, 
Let's see here. Let's go. After being rescued by the player team, Rocket returns to Pokemon Tower where it helps the player and Trace calm his mother's spirit. Trace later adopts Cubone into his party. So yeah. Maddie, you're right. It is actually going to be a part of Trace's team now. That is really cool. Alright. So the next thing I want to do... Link looks like an old stuffed toy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Okay, we are going to go ahead and head back to Celadon City now. I want to go ahead and make use of this Poke Flute right now. I should probably stop at the Pokemart here first. Because I don't know how it's going to handle the battle with Snorlax. Whether we'll just go straight to trying to catch Snorlax or if we'll have to battle it first. Because I know with legendary Pokemon, you have to battle them before you can catch them. So I'll definitely want some more X defenses. Unlikely that I'll need some X special defenses, but as long as we're here, I'll buy them anyway. And a trip up to the rooftop to buy some more lemonades. This is actually a lot faster than it was in Generation 1. It doesn't ask you if you want to buy another. It also doesn't stay on Lemonade. You have to manually scroll back to it. I'm pretty sure that, how, that is how it worked in Generation 1. Too bad it doesn't tell me how many I have. So, I'm just going to splurge. And one more. I just noticed the shape of this trash can. Interesting how it is bottle shaped. Makes me wonder if it's actually for recycling. Okay, off to Snorlax. No, just in case it actually is a battle that we have to take part in. I'm putting Hudson up front. A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to use the Poke Flute? Yeah. Okay, I definitely heard the flute. So, maybe I'm actually a Pokemon. 
Ooh, I hope I'm a Nidoran. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you. And it looks hungry. Um, I am not food. Hey, Erica. Wow, you ran all the way out here? There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poke Flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Yeah, in that case, can you get to the point real quick before it eats my hat or something? Or worse, Link? I'm gonna want to hold Link in my arms and uh, protect it. This is gonna be pretty dangerous. Please help it calm down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it, just like any other Pokemon. Okay. Well, um, I probably could have figured that out without you having me in awkwardly timed tutorial. Snorlax mistook you for food and attacked. Ha! We get the song! Okay. Wait, I have a time limit? How do I have a time limit? What happens if it runs out? Oh boy, okay. Starting with... No, you know what? Not taking chances. Starting with X-Defend. Oh gosh, time limit. In a turn-based battle. Oh, why was that a critical hit? Okay. And you have Yawn. Okay, here's what we're gonna do then. Scald. Hope for a burn. No burn. I bet you uh, this Snorlax... Where's the Poke Flute? Where's the Poke Flute? Where's the Poke Flute? I can't use the Poke Flute in battle! That is lame! And you have Lick? Why do you have Lick? Oh, we're definitely not gonna burn you. Please be burned. Stop that. Darn it. Gonna take a chance here. Oh, and it has rest. You know what? I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. Defensively, you are not as strong. So definitely using this right now. The odds are not looking good for me winning this fight, by the way. I'm betting as soon as time runs out, I miss my chance to catch the Snorlax. I could reset, obviously. But there is another Snorlax coming up, so whatever happens in this fight, I'll accept. Okay, Headbutt 70, Mega Drain... I meant to check the power of Mega Drain. Mm, 
nice thing is I don't have to worry about whether his health is low or not. I actually am encouraged to KO it. I need you to not immediately try going back to sleep the next time you wake up. I'll be the one to make you fall asleep. Hopefully. Please don't paralyze. Okay, good. Actually... No, sleep powder. You know what? Never mind. But then I still have to do this. Okay, well, first things first. Time for an Ultra Ball. I don't see this Pokemon hopping all over the place. Aside from that. Huzzah! Okay, that was really fun. And that is a lot of experience. Wow. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. He's a big boy. Will eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. It never gets an upset stomach. Check motions. Here is its attack. I would not want to have this thing land on me, I tell you what. Even if I did have a poison spines. Poison point, rather. And then, of course, special. However, I would absolutely want to sleep on this thing. It looks cozy. Oh my, Erica! That was impressive! There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers, just as Snorlax did. And let me think here. The other Snorlax, the three legendary birds, and Mewtwo. That's probably it. Unless the game decides to throw a curveball at me. But you never know. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, that's not actually going to be an issue remembering that, because that's just how the game is going to play out. I see an item over there. Well, I'll see you later, then. First thing I want to do, find out what this item is. I'll uh, search for Pokemon in the grass later. How are you feeling, by the way? Hudson is interested in Link's Chop Down. Oh, can I actually use that here? Oh no, you were probably interested because I was, um... Chop Down in order to get in here. Link is not responsive. Uh, Link... Out of curiosity, can I chop the grass? Nope. Cannot chop grass. Okay, I also want to find out what Professor Oak's aid is doing here. Enjoy a stroll along Pokemon Road. Not yet. Here you are. Hi. 
Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 40 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you this special ball set you. So, Erica, let me ask you. Have you gathered the data on at least 40 species of Pokemon? Yes. Great! You have caught 49 species of Pokemon. Congratulations! Then here you go. Okay. I mean, it's not that special, but I am absolutely not going to complain about 30 Ultra Balls. Actually, I'm going to complain a little. It would have been nice to have some sort of special key item. Instead of just something I could buy. Still, though, it's still really nice. It's very easy to catch Pokemon with an Ultra Ball. As for a Pokeball that makes it... As for a Pokeball that makes it e Well, I hear Silphco may or may not be worth Through the grapevine on account that Master Balls are going to be sent around to Pokemon professors for research. Actually... I got the information I wanted. In the stream. If you've enjoyed today's stream, feel free to give me a follow. I stream this every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Is not streaming today, so we can do a raid to. Oh gosh, suddenly lag. Of course, things are lagging right now. We're going to do a raid to somebody I know, a friend of mine, Fire, who is playing this game here. Not this game, but that game. Let's raid. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.